Thank you to Scooter Cars in Michigan for letting me drive their low-speed EVs. If you're looking to buy your own low-speed EV, power rickshaw, or golf cart, click the link in the description below. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach, and today I am driving a 2021 Chang Li Explorer. Below me is a 85 kilowatt hour lithium battery that powers a single motor. Now I am super excited to be driving this here low speed EV for really one reason and that's just how weird and cute this car is. This is a low speed EV, meaning it is in fact legal for road use, but it's not that quick as you are now seeing. These are imported from China by scooter cars here in Sparta, Michigan. And like I said, they are road legal. Now it's going to depend on your county, how you are going to register the vehicle, but basically scooter cars actually gives you all of the required paperwork for the vehicles. And so basically you just have to get a permission slip signed by your local police department saying that you can drive it on the road and then you can drive it on the road. But before we get on with the rest of the video, if you are looking to help out the channel, there are some awesome links in the description below. One is for cash for cars. If you're looking to sell your vehicle, get a quote, help the channel. We also have the fixed OBD2 Bluetooth sensor to help diagnose your car. Buy one, help the channel. And we have con plates. If you don't want to drill holes in your front bumper, but still need to display your license plate, you can suction cup it to your windshield. And when you buy one, you help out the channel. Thank you to all the sponsors of this video, but let's get on with it. Now let's get back to that all electric drive train well power wise it makes like five horsepower maybe but you can go between 80 and 100 miles per charge and you can charge them on a 110 outlet which will take several hours but it's doable 80 to 100 miles is quite the grab for these little cars here we go foot to the floor Fifty kilometers. Fifty two kilometers. Not great. They do struggle on hills, however, we will talk about how there is a remedy for that. And they don't quite keep up with the flow of traffic, especially with modern cars. However, I'm doing 53 kilometers an hour and I'm doing it pretty happily. Now this car does not have a transmission, but it is rear wheel drive. And this here particular Explorer has four wheel disc brakes and it actually stops on a relative dime, which is great. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I actually do have a gauge cluster. It's giving me some information like my speed and my battery life and things like that. The battery is just shown on a battery diagram. And again, this is a Chinese import. So there are a lot of Chinese characters in the gauge cluster and in the information screen. I also like that it says EV car safe trip on the gauge cluster. On the steering wheel, I do have a horn. <laughs> which sounds like it's directed at me. <laughs> and then I do have turn signal stalks like a normal car. Moving onto the door, I do have a little door handle and little leather trim, as well as I have power windows. Again, a very nice feature. This is not just a golf cart. This is really something different, which is nice. Moving into the center, I do actually have an infotainment system. I can go to my music, movie, Bluetooth, and my settings. However, it is not a touch screen, which is kind of annoying and it's frustrating to use while driving, but this isn't really a car that you're gonna be taking on road trips or anything like that. So if you gotta switch to the music, just pull over. I do love that it has this modern feature in it. It actually helps the vehicle feel like a 2021 rather than just something that's been mass produced for years and years and years, because this actually is new. Something really cool for 2021 is the fact that it also gets a reverse camera. Look at that. Now, it's not the clearest thing in the world, but it's honestly better than some American cars that we have here in the States. It's honestly a really nice backup camera and a great feature to have in a vehicle like this. And down below that, we have the engine start stop switch, our heater switch, which because it's an electric vehicle, this just has like a heater blower, which you can hear now. Sounds just like a computer fan turning on because 
well, it's not far from it. And then I have this light switch for the LED lights on top of the vehicle. So if you'll notice, there are LED lights mounted to the top of the Explorer, which I can toggle on and off, and I can actually swivel if I want a wider field of lighting. Now on the floor, I do wanna point out, I get this nice leather flooring, as well as I do get the pedals. Now the pedals are a little bit weirder to get used to coming from a car. However, if you're used to driving golf carts or smaller electric vehicles, it's pretty standard there. Then to the very left, I have this weird looking knob. This is actually to put it into high or low gear. Right now, it's in high gear. But if you do have to climb a hill, like I'm trying to do right now, you can actually flip it down and do low gear. Moving into the center console, this is the shifter. I have reverse, neutral, drive, and sport, which will sport will basically let you do 30 miles an hour. Of course, the Chang Li fails the big friggin' bottle test on the basis that it has no cup holders. Now, up above me, I do actually have a fan system. Again, these actually are just computer fans that I can turn on. And while I don't have AC, listen. I can have a little fan blowing on me to keep me cool. Kinda nice. And then we have the seats. The seats are a little hard, they're a little rough, but for short trips into town, on the farm, whatever it might be, it's totally fine. The seats are good enough for that application. Would I wanna do a road trip with these seats? No, but I also wouldn't want to do a road trip in a Chang Li. They're not designed for that, so why would you? I do have lap belts as well. I know on video it doesn't appear like I'm wearing a seat belt, but I do have my lap belt on. But speaking of seats, this little car has back seats, so let's go do a back seat review. So I am surprisingly in the back of the 2021 Chang Li Explorer. And a couple of things to note back here. First of all, physically I fit as a human. Now I could move this front seat up a little bit. The passenger seat is up a little bit further and that offers a lot more space. Headroom is actually pretty good for it being a tiny car. I'm 5'11 and my hair is starting to hit the ceiling, but not bad. The seats are kind of hard. They're basically golf cart seats and they're not super comfortable, but again, this isn't really a long range vehicle. So popping downtown, get some food, pick up supplies, whatever it might be. I'm gonna be fine back here. Interestingly enough, I do get crank windows back here as opposed to the power windows found up front, but we actually do have a trunk behind me and a frunk, so let's go talk about the storage options in the Chang Li. So around the back of the Chang Li Explorer, open it up right here just with that push button, and we don't get a whole lot of storage, but you can actually fold these seats flat to have a flat loading ground, so you can have probably about three feet of cargo space if you'd really like to have that. This does have a swinging door as well as a spare tire right here, which you can pop open and there's your little spare. However, coming around the front, open the door here, pull the hood latch, And not only do you get a strut, but you get a sort of front trunk. Now, obviously that goes straight through to the ground. So I wouldn't recommend putting anything in here without putting maybe something flat, but you do have your washer bottle because this does have windshield wipers with sprayers. Very nice, something not very golf carty. And here is your horn that I honked earlier. So you do get some storage up here. You can put stuff up here if you wanted to, but again, I would recommend putting something flat. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and I think this is one of the most adorable vehicles I've ever driven. It looks kind of like a new Chevy Silverado, kind of not, and the reason for that is because Chang Li, who designed and built this car, actually manufactures OEM parts for a bunch of other manufacturers. So they use the parts that were at their disposal, keeping these vehicles cheap and making them pretty attractive. It does have LED lights, which is great, and the bumpers you see on the vehicle are added to make it DOT approved. So let's get to my final thoughts here on the Chang Li Explorer. Well, I think that this is really, really unique, really cool, and something that I did not expect to be driving today. I think honestly for around town use, it makes sense. These are affordable electric, you're not putting any sort of pollutants into the air. And while no, I wouldn't want to take it on a road trip, but for driving it around town, just going to get a snack, if I have a small walkable town, 
Honestly, this isn't a bad idea. I could also see this very much in rural use, like up here in Michigan, a lot of farm towns. Charge it up. You don't have to use your gas to go into town. You can do your shopping. You can put it in the back. You could take people with you and that's it. The only real downside to these cars is that they do sometimes struggle to keep up with modern traffic. So if you live in a highly congested area, you might run into some slight issues or feel like you're holding people up. But out here in the rural areas, why not? Might as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Scooter Cars in Sparta, Michigan. If you are interested in buying one of these, as well as their other scooters, golf carts, and other imports, please contact them with the information down in the description below. They are super, super helpful. I've been talking to Doug all morning. Really, really helpful guy. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns about legality, where to buy one, or anything of that sort, please contact Doug. He's been awesome, and I can't thank him enough for letting me do this review. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.